Coach John Wooden was one of the best leaders in sports history. Over the course of 12 years, he won 10 national championships with the UCLA Bruins, men's basketball team. But before that, before that, he built himself and he built a formula. And that's what I want to share with you. See, John Wooden loved quotes, he loved poems, he loved phrases, he loved things that could pack a tremendous lesson. And one quote, one poem that he loved was this, no written word nor spoken plea can teach our youth what they should be, nor all the books on all the shelves. It's what the teachers are themselves. No written word or spoken plea can teach our youth what they should be, nor all the books on all the shelves. It's what the teachers are themselves. And John Wooden, as a young man, started building this pyramid of success. And he was trying to figure out what traits built success, what traits were critical. And then he, in building this pyramid, he said, I need to live my life around that. I need to live my life around that. Well, having 100% complete integrity was one of his blocks. And as a young coach, he got an offer. He was interviewing for two different coaching jobs. One was with the University of Minnesota, which was closer to his family, closer to his wife's family, and close to an area where he had been coaching for a while and knew most of the high school coaches, hundreds of the high school coaches. So recruiting would have been a lot easier for him to do. And it was a big program and a well-known program, a successful program, University of Minnesota. The second school was a school that he knew the letters to, and that's about it, UCLA. UCLA. And he was interviewing for both jobs simultaneously. Well, UCLA was going forward to make an offer. The University of Minnesota also made an offer, but they wanted Wooden to keep the head coach on as his new assistant coach. And Wooden did some homework and found out that the head coach that would now be his assistant had a completely different philosophy on basketball than he did. And Wooden realized that that would be a challenge because one, they had a different philosophy, and two, he's becoming the head coach with an assistant that used to be the head coach. And he knew that there could be some serious challenges with that. So he asked the University of Minnesota, he said, could we rethink that? Could we rethink making the head coach now become my assistant? And they said, we can think about it, we'll get back to you on this date by 6 p.m. On this date by 6 p.m. Well, that day comes, 6 p.m., no phone call. 6.30, no phone call. 7 o'clock, no phone call. Wooden gets a call from UCLA because he had told them this exact scenario. Full disclosure, he said, look, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm deciding, and if they, they're going to answer me by this time on this day, and if they say we, keep, we have to keep that, that coach as the assistant, I'm going to go with UCLA. Well, UCLA calls him after he waited over an hour for the phone call from University of Minnesota. And Wooden said, well, I haven't heard back from them, so I guess they're not going to do it. I will take the job at UCLA. I'll take the job at UCLA. Not long after that, he finally did get a call from the University of Minnesota. And what they told him is, we had a major snowstorm, power outage, all the phone lines were down. That's why we didn't get in touch with you at 6 or 6.30 or 7 on that day. We decided to go with your plan, and you won't have the head coach as your assistant. We're going to go with your plan, Mr. Wooden. You're the new coach at University of Minnesota. And John Wooden, his pillar, said, no, I've already accepted a job at UCLA. And Coach Wooden went to UCLA and went into the history books. But it comes down to this, this quote, no written word or spoken plea can teach our youth what they should be, nor all the books on all the shelves. It's what the teachers are themselves. Who are you becoming as a leader? I'm Jonathan Fanning. I hope this adds value to your leadership journey.